Hi, I'm Steve Ferreira, Game Director of Apex Legends. We're always looking for ways that we can add new energy and more action into every season of Apex. I'll kick it over to Evan and Eric to tell you some of the ways we're mixing it up in Shockwave. I'm excited to talk about how we're bringing brand new energy to Apex with our latest season, Shockwave. First, we've added a revival. To get you back into the action faster, we're enabling players to respawn back into the fight in a brand new way. As long as you have one living squad mate, you can respawn near them after you die. Dive back down onto your team and get back into that fight. We're also adding several quality of life updates, resetting loop ins at the mid game and improved battle sense mechanics. Enemy help bars will help take some of the guesswork of knowing how much damage you've actually done to your opponent and if they really are one shot. Highlights on enemy players will help you track targets at closer ranges. No highlights at long range though. It is a skill to identify targets at range. To keep the energy up and to keep you in the action, loop ins will reset at the mid game. Midway through the game, all open loop ins will re-roll their loot, giving you fresh bins to restock your supplies with. Keep an eye out for rare loop ins that will randomly replace existing bins. These rare bins contain powerful loot to help you finish your end game loadouts. These changes will help you keep focused on getting to the fun and racking up those kills. This season, you're gonna wanna pick up the P2020 and the Mozambique. And what's better than one weapon? Two. And that's why we're adding a Kimbo. That means on drop, if you grab two P2020s or two Mozambique shotguns, you'll automatically go full akimbo where you'll dual wield both weapons to deal devastating and fast damage. Both these weapons are fully automatic in akimbo when you lay on the trigger, but they'll lose their ability to use precision aim down sights. Instead, when aiming, they'll tighten their hip fire spread. Pop-ups and attachments will apply to both of your akimbo weapons, so no, you don't need two mags. Adding akimbo quite literally puts the power in your hands, and we can't wait to see all the community highlight clips. Akimbo isn't the only change we're making to weapons. We saw an opportunity to make LMGs more competitive next to submachine guns and assault rifles. Instead of trying to push their damage output higher, we're instead trying a different vector of power defense. We've done this by adding a shield to LMGs with the all-new shield generator hop-up. The gun shield allows players to challenge higher DPS weapons while still being able to tap into the power fantasy of the bullet hose. We've also made some adjustments to LMGs in close quarters combat. We've added the reverse hip fire mechanic which refines that bullet hose fantasy from a common garden hose to a fire hose with deadly accuracy. We love that Apex Legends is one of the most fun competitive shooters out there. We also know that it can be a little intimidating for players to jump in. Josh and Eric will give you the download on everything we've got to make it easier than ever to jump into a game of Apex. With Shockwave, we've got some brand new modes and some returning favorites. First up, in Shockwave, we're bringing back Straight Shot, but with a twist. Straight Shot Revival is our streamlined Battle Royale mode that gets you straight into the action with smaller maps and pre-kitted weapons. This season, we're also adding the Revival system to Straight Shot, so you can keep respawning as long as you have one living squad mate. With Straight Shot Revival, we'll get into the action faster and stay in the game longer. Next, for the players that just want to get some reps in, we're excited to announce that we're launching a new dedicated Bot Royale. Bot Royale lets you get the hang of Apex Legends by playing a match of Battle Royale against all bot opponents. You can start a match alone with a team of bots or bring friends along to practice together. We're excited to see all the ways you'll use these new bot matches. And maybe you're new to Apex and you need a safe space to practice. If you want to learn a new legend, you'll be able to experiment at your own pace. Or maybe you want to teach some friends how to play Apex. Bot matches give you a more realistic environment than the firing range. Hello again. In Shockwave, we're looking to encourage a new legend meta while also empowering more supportive and defensive playstyles. We'll do that by revisiting class perks to give you something new. For our recon legends like Bloodhound, we're adding an all new perk called Scoutmaster, which gives all recon legends threat vision on enemies when aiming down sights. Bangalore mains can breathe a sigh of relief. Scoutmaster does not work through smoke. We're also looking to push survey beacons into a more tactical role. Beacons will be faster to use and found more frequently across the map. No more random spawns. However, they will no longer reveal the entire map. Instead, a large area around the beacon itself. And for our caustic mains out there, controllers inside zone will maintain a permanent overcharge on their shields, effectively making them one level stronger than their actual level. These are just some of the meta changes we've got in store for you in our new season. One of my favorite things about Apex Legends are the diverse worlds and biomes that are the backdrop for our special brand of BR action. In Shockwave, I'm excited to reveal that our sixth map is coming to Apex Legends. 
E-District is a futuristic cityscape that is the result of five years of learnings from the team, meaning you'll get exciting new ways to flex your skills in combat. All this set against a bold neon background. I'm excited to give you an overview of our newest map called E-District coming in Shockwave. E-District pushes the boundaries of Apex maps, lots of verticality, and a large variety of buildings in a cyberpunk playground. With a strong emphasis on urban warfare, it is our most densely packed map to date. In market, you'll experience close quarters combat in a gritty and futuristic night market. In locations like Blossom Drive, you'll have exciting rooftop to rooftop battles. You'll hop from one skyscraper to another above canals that feature floating holograms. We're also excited to introduce new map toys in E-District with launchers that can quickly send you long distances, vertically and horizontally. These launchers will give you exciting opportunities to strategize with your team, travel quickly, or easily reach rooftops. You can check out everything we've shown here and more when Shockwave goes live on August 6th. As always, keep your feedback coming. We can't wait to hear your thoughts on Revival, Battle Sense, Akimbo, E-District, and everything else that's coming in the new season. On behalf of myself and the Apex team, I wanted to thank our amazing community. We couldn't do this without you. We'll see you on the dropship for Shockwave on August 6th.